So far, we've looked at academic studies, but other stakeholders have also been involved in exploring the issues which women face in developing their media careers. Most notably, professional associations such as the International Federation of Journalists, the European Women's Lobby, and various working groups of the European Commission and Council of Europe. These studies have produced more or less the same conclusion as the rest. Importantly, the structural and cultural barriers which prevent women's advancement into managerial and editorial positions also operate to prevent women's occupation of boardroom seats. In the European Institute of Gender Equality study mentioned earlier, just over a quarter of all board seats were taken up by women. In October 2012, European Commissioner Vivian Redding formally proposed that the European Parliament should enact legislation to boost the number of women in the boardrooms of public companies. The proposal aimed to achieve a 40% presence of the underrepresented sex, for which we should read women, among non-executive directors of the top 5,000 publicly listed companies by 2020 and by 2018 for publicly funded organisations. You will not be surprised to know that her proposal was more or less immediately rejected by her fellow commissioners on the grounds that it contravened the Commission's own regulations. The proposed legislation was subsequently reframed as an objective and thus has no prospect of achieving the change required. When thinking about the media as an employer, there are a number of both structural and cultural features which can function to restrict women's professional ambitions. For example, all organisations have hierarchies, and in media industries, these can be genre-based, skills-based, or related to function. And women will often experience what we can call horizontal or vertical segregation as they develop their media careers. Horizontal segregation occurs when women and men are encouraged to take up particular job functions from the very beginning of their careers. So women in news organisations will often be encouraged into working in soft beats such as lifestyle and celebrity, and men to working in hard beats such as politics and the economy. Or women are encouraged to go into production and men into editing. Women into costume design, men into set design. Women into presenting, men into commissioning. There are relatively few women working in technical areas such as sound or lighting, and instead are more likely to be working in human resources or legal services. If women get sidelined into the less prestigious aspects of the industry from the very beginning, they then find it hard to move, even just sideways, to push against the glass wall. Vertical segregation, also known as the glass ceiling, is where women find it hard to climb the career ladder. Even when they do, they often find that their pay is significantly less than their male colleagues.